Peter McKinnon is one of the fastest growing YouTubers out there and has enjoyed huge success with this channel. Today I hope to show you what makes him so unique that helped him garner such a huge following. If you find today's video helpful and interesting, please support the channel by leaving a like and subscribing. Recently I came across a comment that requested for an analysis of Peter McKinnon and his success on YouTube and thought it would be a fascinating subject matter and something that I could learn from myself as a new YouTuber. If you aren't initiated with Peter McKinnon, he has a vlogging YouTube channel about photography and cinematography. In two years of creating content for his channel, he's blown up to having over 2 million subscribers to his channel and is continuing to grow and enjoy success. If you're interested in checking out his channel, I will link it down in the description below. So how has he got so popular in such a relatively short space of time? Well, before I get into that, there's two factors I'd like people to understand. First, this video isn't going to show you any secrets about succeeding in YouTube. If that was the case, this channel would have significantly more subscribers and views. I want to instead focus on Peter McKinnon's character and qualities as an individual to help understand why he has such a following. Second, while I mention he's been growing for two years, it's never quite that simple. I'm certain Peter has had to work incredibly hard for his success and would probably appreciate people acknowledging this. Success isn't easy, it takes a huge amount of work and dedication and I promise that Peter McKinnon does a huge amount of work towards making each of his 10 to 15 minute videos. The first thing that grabs your attention about Peter McKinnon's channel is the aesthetic of his content. If you browse through his videos, the thumbnails are of great quality and great images to show off what content can be expected in the video themselves. Great thumbnails can play a significant role in enticing people to watching a video and Peter's thumbnails are some of the best I can think of on YouTube. It's not just his thumbnails that stand out, but his whole channel has a beautiful visual aesthetic that pops out visually and has depth and quality. With YouTube being a visual medium, having videos that immediately stand out with a distinctive look gives a massive advantage and from this perspective, it's evident Peter McKinnon puts a lot of love in his craft and the visual experience of his videos. A perfect example I came across for this was when he spoke about how to get a great background for your YouTube videos, where he keeps the commentary simple or easy to understand but goes into detail about the frame composition and ensuring your face is framed and the focus of the shot background of your video. Now if you do have stuff behind you, a key to kind of make it not so busy is just move it back. Which brings me to point number two, which is creating depth between yourself and the background. The further away the background is, it always looks better, it always looks more cinematic. Now, I did have things behind my head in my old set, but they were far enough back and I was still framed by the doorway. If you guys remember seeing some of those videos, I'll overlay some footage here. What really struck me about watching this video was he discussed about moving to a new office and recording with a new background, and it immediately struck me how he uses visual elements to keep a viewer's engagement. Let's take where he sometimes records himself when speaking on the camera. You will often see a neon light in the background which provides a nice pop of colour and contrast to the rest of the frame. These neat little visual touches really make for an interesting visual experience, despite it ultimately a shot where a person is speaking at a camera. I'm not against the idea of speaking to a camera, in fact there are many benefits of doing so, but Peter McKinnon goes the extra mile to ensure he makes it interesting visually for the viewer. The other aspect that's noticeable about his videos is the quality of the picture and the lighting. Lighting seems to be crucial for the aesthetic he's going for, as he uses natural lighting which helps for a more natural and cinematic quality to his recording. The same was notable in the Will Smith storytelling video we covered in the previous video and is something that's often the case when Casey Neistat records his videos in his studio. In every case, they all have natural sources of light coming into the frame rather than having lighting directly on their face. This gives a more realistic visual experience rather than something that's fabricated and this can play a big role in engaging the viewer on a personal level. Peter McKinnon's a master of this and it provides a wonderful visual experience for the viewer. Now, all of this commentary on visual aesthetic of his videos ultimately speaks volumes for his content. His field of expertise is visual arts and technology and he provides a lot of helpful information for people and fellow YouTubers on getting high quality videos. 
Through his videos, not only does he provide a great deal of information and show people an insight into his life, but he does so by marketing himself in the best way possible, as he shows his body of work in his videos. Get in here and welcome back to Yes. This serves as evidence that he's an individual who clearly understands the subject that he speaks about, but also shows what results people can achieve by learning from him. Speaking of his content, this is another area where Peter McKinnon excels in his craft. While he goes into depth about the technical elements of making videos and photography, he has a way of simplifying his message so that the layman can understand. This was particularly evident when he discussed wide shots in one of his videos, where not only did he explain the challenges of having wide shots that are too wide, but he showed the visual impact this would have when taking photographs. For someone like me who has limited understanding about cameras, his explanation about the subject was easy to understand and extremely helpful. Finally, Peter McKinnon's ability to gain the following he has is he's naturally charismatic. Welcome back guys, so and start. <laughs> Oh, oh, what, what was that? Ah, oh, ah, oh, press the bezel. Oh, 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 this is incredible. What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here and welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. It's so great to have you here and see all of your smiling faces. Guess what? It's great to be an expert in this field, but without his natural charisma, wit and screen presence, he would struggle to connect with his viewers. He follows all the tips we've said about eye contact, using hand gestures and non-verbal communication, and his delivery when he speaks is natural and full of character. This plays a role in how he engages with the viewer, as he doesn't speak as though he's trying to sell anything, but instead speaks as someone who's out to help his viewers. This plays a big role in the relationship he'll build with his viewers, as people are naturally more inclined to build a relationship with someone who can give them something without expecting anything in return. Peter McKinnon's YouTube success is incredibly admirable. His videos are of high quality and it's important to understand that he uses his expertise and character to build his channel. If you want to speak as an influencer or authority on a particular subject to a group of strangers as he does, you have to ensure that you are highly knowledgeable about the subject that you are speaking about and have the charisma to build rapport with your audience. In both respects, Peter McKinnon excels and his YouTube channel's success is the result of that. Do you follow Peter McKinnon and if so, what is it about his channel that has your attention? Please let me know in the comments section below. If you follow the content and want to keep up with the latest videos then please subscribe with the notifications bell turned on to ensure you're informed when a video goes up.